Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Since 1985 to present, Karina Brock Carlisle and her husband John have continued to work diligently to develop a prestigious school of ballet on Hilton Head Island. Opening with 17 students and now training nearly 300 students, Hilton Head Dance School is home to one of the best dance facilities on the East Coast. On November 9th, the Hilton Head Island Dance Troupe will ring in the holidays with a beloved nutcracker. And here to share more about this year's traditional holiday ballet are Eileen Cooper, who will play the role of Sugar Plum Fairy, and Andrew Murphy performing the role of her cavalier. Welcome both to, to Talk of the Town. Thank you. So uh, tell us a little bit, Andrew, you're obviously not from here, and no. tell us a little bit about you coming here and what you've done in the past. Okay, well, I'm Australian. Mm -hmm. I started in Australia. I, I started my career with the Australian Ballet. I felt it was time to move, so I moved to England. And uh, after eight years, I had had enough of the weather. <laughs> so I moved to Houston, Texas. So uh, then I was invited to come and dance the Nutcracker here. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you've been quite a few places, and we're glad yeah. you're here. Thank you. So, Eileen, you are going to be the Sugar Plum Fairy. Tell us a little bit about that. You must be excited. I'm very excited. Um, Sugar Plum is definitely a big role, and it's a big undertaking, but um, it's a privilege to be able to dance the part, and I'm really excited, and I'm really looking forward to getting to dance with Andrew and everything. So. How long have you been with uh, the Hilton Head uh, Dance School? Um, I've only been dancing for about six years. Which That's a is long time. That's a long time. Yeah. Not only um, I've noticed with a lot of the students that have come from the Hilton Head School of Dance is the arts important, but also education. And definitely, I think that the discipline that you probably have to, you know, continue through with dancing follows through with with studies. I would imagine. Right. It's yeah. It's a big um. Just trying to balance everything is yeah. a big part of it, too. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, a little bit first, bef before I get a little bit more into it, let's talk about the actual show. The Nutcracker will perform when? Um, it's going to be November 9th through the 17th. Okay. And it's at the? Visual and Performing Arts Center okay. at Hilton Head Island High School. Okay. So. And I think that we have both the website and the phone number, so p tickets right. and in more information is completely be available. Found. Okay, and so if n someone has never seen this ballet, why would this, the Nutcracker, be such a good one to see? Well, um, it's a really good family show, so it's good to go with your family. You know, we have the battle scene, which is good for boys. You know, the girls love to look at um, the sugar plum. A lot of little girls, like, idolize that part and everything. Mm -hmm. But they can also relate to all the little kids in it or just the family aspect of, like, the whole party scene and everything. So. Andrew, have you played this, this in this performance before? Have you been in the Nutcracker before or is this your first time? Well it's my first time here but I think I've been doing it now for probably about 10-15 years. I want to say it's been a long time. So yeah. it is a tradition. Mm -hmm. I mean in America it's a huge tradition. Yeah absolutely. I think you hear in elevators you hear the music <laughs> and then you know it's about to begin. Yeah. So it's great because also if you come to the Nutcracker the, for the first time you can start to actually see people start in the mice, start in a different role, and then progress to sugar plum yeah. or whatever it is. So you get to sort of follow them yeah. as well. Yeah, so. that's, that's actually a neat concept. So the mayor has given you a proclamation stating that the Nutcracker is the official beginning to the holiday season. Is that right? That is right. That <laughs> is really exciting. That is very exciting. Mm. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's really nice because a lot of the families on the island that have like been here for a while, they get to see it and they all look forward to it as the beginning of the season, it gets yeah. everyone in the spirit and everything. It does, it absolutely does. So, you know, amazingly enough, you were saying, Andrew, that the Nutcracker has been around for a very, very long time and, and obviously people have enjoyed it since the late 60s and it's been performed in countless ballets. So how do you keep a tradition like the Nutcracker from being passé? Well, I mean, that's a hard to answer because each place has their own nutcracker. Mm -hmm. So I think each group of people that watch it tend to get attached to that version. But I think, you know, for instance, I've come here and it's, it's, there's similarities, but there's a difference to it. So, I mean, I think you just have to keep changing it and right. keeping it interest, you know, to keep, keep it interesting. Keep people interested yeah. in it. And, and, and probably, just like you said, with in, in, in our dance troupe, I would assume that as these kids 
grow up, they take on different roles, and yeah. it ma they make they, they individualize that role. They make it different according to themselves. Great. But um, Karina is our artistic director. Um, she's also re choreographing all the time. She oh, is she? Changes dances every year. Um, they won't stay the same. This year, our snow and our flowers dance are completely new, which are two of the biggest dances in the whole ballet. So, so she continues to she make changes, changes to those. So there's year. no stagnant right. um, scenes in the in the actual performance, which is very very cool. So, mm -hmm. how many total, um, I guess, individuals are in the performance? Um, there's Dancers, about I should say. 300. It's about 300 in the whole. I mean, um, throughout the dance. Well, a few of the little kids um, alternate shows, okay. but. Throughout the run of the show, there's going to be 300 kids <laughs> up on stage. Wow. And what are the ages? Um, it's about 3 to 18. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> a few yeah, adults. Andrew, yeah, we 18. do not need to talk about no, that. that's great. Sorry. Yeah. We're talking about the kids. That's here. right. We're talking about <laughs> the kids. Well, you know, the, the, the dance school is amazing, does amazing things, and um, I know people would just love, they need to get their tickets to see the mm. Nutcracker, and it is such a great spirited thing for the beginning of the, the holiday season. So thank you both for joining us today. Thank, thank you for you. having and, us. And, and, and good luck on the performance. Thank you. thank you. And we thank you so much. We'll be right back with Talk of the Town.